Hello Libra, how are you? It's me Lauren from the Untitled Tarot. Welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if it's your first time here. We have moved upstairs from the basement. Ah, Jefferson's moving on up, yes. I've also laid out your spread beforehand, which is a little bit different, but variety is the spice of life, folks. So we're just doing things differently every day. Lean with it, rock with it. You and me, baby. I use the star, the light, the light sears tarot, the light sears tarot <laughs> for your spread. Also, I used um, the Oracle of Mystical Moments too. I use both of those for you. And you have an interesting little spread here, Libra. I can see that you guys are doing pretty good, but you're definitely like going through it a little bit. I can see that a lot of my Libras are kind of going in and doing that self work, but it's hard, isn't it? I know. I've been there. I am there. <laughs> We're all here together, right? And I, um, when I was meditating on your energy, I got this image. You know those pictures? And it's kind of like two pictures in one. It's normally black and white. It'll be like, do you see two people kissing? Or do you see the side of one person's face? Or do you see a wine glass? Or do you see like an hourglass? It's like almost one of those like Warshaw tests or that viral dress that was going around a few months ago or is like is it is it a gold dress or is it is it blue and everybody had like a different perspective it's just like the way you saw it i was getting flashes like that in your pre-shuffle energy which was interesting and then i kept getting like a lot of clock imagery a lot of clock imagery but more specifically like somebody taking the back of a clock off and almost like rewiring it or like fixing the little mechanisms in the back of the clock like the way it ticks so that way it ticks properly it's like going to like a watch smith right? But it felt like, it's not like you were trying to do that with someone else or in a situation. It felt like you were trying to do it with yourself. Kind of get your, get your gears back in alignment, right? So that's pretty cool. And then the first card that you had out, my little Libras, was the Six of Pentacles. And this is very much of like a giving and receiving energy, you know, like levers and pulleys kind of, kind of action. Um, I love this six of pentacles because it is it is very like mechanized right it looks like the back of a machine gears wheels the whole thing but what i love so much about this card is the coloring represents so many of our chakras right and i'm very drawn to originally this first hand up here trying to hand this one pentacle and then i looked at this bottom hand i'm like well there's no way this pentacle is so much bigger than this one like there's no way that this hand like her hand i'm just assuming it's being my hand because it's like a dainty little hand but like there's no way that her hand could hold both of these pentacles. Like it's, it's just not possible. She's gonna, and her, her hand's like very much open. And this hand is very much clasped on this one. So it seems very much like you have to let sort of like almost like a pentacle roll out. You know, it's like this, this infinity symbol kind of has to roll out. So that way this other pentacle can kind of like roll into your hand. And I was like, well, this would represent like your base chakra, right? Your root chakra. What does that represent to us? That represents our feelings of, stability right that's like our personal your soul's four of wands right it's where you feel safe this is like everything that grows from you that's why it's your base it grows from there everything that makes you feel sturdy right and then what's above that it's your sacral chakra that's orange and what does that represent to us fire passion creativity sexual energy all that kundalini all of it right so it's almost like saying you guys, my little Libras have hit a point now that you're going to have to release a little bit of, of these feelings or these things. You know, this is pentacles, so it could actually be tangible people, activities you participate in, places you go, maybe a job that you have, whatever it may be for you. These things that really have, have compiled themselves to be your infrastructure, they feel like the things that keep you solid. But I'm hearing like house of cards, house of cards, house of sand, house of sand. There are these things that maybe you're realizing having to sit in a quarantine now a little bit with yourself that it's almost like there might be some things that are supposed to be part of your support system. Wow. Um, but they might actually, you might be realizing that there are actually things that are undercutting your stability, not making you feel as great as they should, you know, and maybe having to let some of those fall out of your hands in order to release this new pinnacle, right? It almost feels like a like a gumball machine. You got you to gotta drop the quarter in. You got to get the gumball out. And what's that gumball for you? It's something that 
is really going to spark that fire inside of you again, Libra. That creativity, that passion, that fun, that excitement, that like hungry to work, hungry to get it, right? We'd love that for us. Next out, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And this for me is very much, I'm going to flip it and reverse it for you. This is you kind of letting this, this little pentacle like fall out of your hair and just roll out. It's this Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like these, you know, knights bring in messages, right? Cups are love, emotion. It's almost like letting, I want to say like letting go of the love, but it doesn't feel like you're letting go of the love. It's almost like letting go of the attachment or, or the expectation or, or the codependency. It's almost like loving things from afar, you know, almost like better, like 10 feet away kind of thing. Like there could be friends that you have or coworkers that you have or a job or people in your family, you know, or things that you like to do, but you're like, you know, maybe at this point in my life, like it's not the best thing for me. And it doesn't mean I don't love you. And it doesn't mean that like, I don't care about you or like, I didn't learn a lot from this experience or this job or whatever. It just means that like, uh, it's almost like, you know, re, re going back, taking the back of that clock off and reconfiguring how things tick. Like things need to start ticking for me a little bit differently. And so some of this stuff has got to go like, it's got to roll, it's got to roll out. Roll out. Next out, two of wands, right? It's almost like, all right, I let this pentacle roll out. I, I tipped over all these cups and now I'm picking up my wand. What do wands, wands represent to us? It's fire energy, right? It's like that solar or um, that sacral energy. It's that creativity. It's that excitement. It's that passion. It's that drive, right? But I all, and that's all that orange energy from this pentacle right here. Yes. And, but I love that there is so much red kind of morphed into here. It's like very well blended for the sense that like you're not necessarily letting go of the idea of stability for yourself, the idea of structure, the idea of home. Like it very much is something that you want to be integrated into these new passion projects, these new elements of yourselves, these new relationships that you're about to start embarking on. It's the whole world. You know what I mean? Picking up this one and, and really assessing, taking, surveying over your landscape and deciding like, where are you going to plant these wands? You know, you have two right now. What is the four of wands? It represents marriage. It represents legacy. It represents having this structure of stability built on all of the elements, not just stability as in pentacles, not just passion as in the wands, not just emotions as in the cups and not just thoughts like in the air. It's got everything. In the traditional four of wands card, there's a flag and it's waving and there's, but there's all this shit everywhere. It's all this shit. It's everything. And you already have half of what you need. So it's like, where are you going to plant? Where are you going to find these other two wands and where are you going to plant them? You want it to be in something that obviously you feel very stable in that builds up your infrastructure of yourself, of your life, but it's got to be something that sets you on fire too, Libra, right? Because that's what keeps you going. Otherwise Libras get bored. You're an air sign, so it's like if there's not something to like keep the movement, the air just falls flat and you get bored and you move on. I know my Libras. And next out, I kind of went back and forth between the Light Tears Tarot and the Oracle of Mystical Moments deck. So next out, you have 15 Elixir of Life. And I loved so much that I came out right, right after. Actually, it came out like this. I keep forgetting that flip. It came out. Look at these girls. This could be you. Gender does not matter. It's just an element, right? It's female energy. It's that energy of receiving messages, clarity. It's like letting that flow happen inside of you, like, uh, like unleashing, like turning the valves back on, like let it flow a little bit, let it flow, both looking out. It's like here you're surveying your landscape. Here her eyes are closed, just kind of enjoying being taken. It's like smell the roses kind of energy. Just like, it's almost like a moment of peace before the voyage, you know, it's just like, like that last second you have in a house before you move out like your childhood house and you're just like oh, okay i'm ready to start my adventure that's what it feels like and then immediately after that you have the sea witch look at this girl look at all you got look at you you're moving you're moving i know the way that it seems here it looks like you're going backwards i think because the camera's flipped but on my table you're you're going forward i promise you you're all, all of your points in and forward in the direction but this is a card about 
bringing a little bit of that like youthful energy that fun back into the process right like this is a very young energy like she looks a little nervous right she looks a little trepidatious these are a little bit of uncharted waters for my libra absolutely you know when you're when you're rebuilding when you're rewiring a clock that is yourself in your life that affects how you tell time here you are here you are here you are Young lady, young lady, young lady. And then immediately followed after that, we brought, I know, I know, Rose Garden. This is your grown up a little bit. Look at all this. Can you believe me? Like, are you shitting me? These four girls, all looking forward. All looking forward. And this card is so beautiful because it's about, excuse me, being in the middle of your transformation. All right, she's half woman. She's half flower. Her hair has become a leaf right it's being a part of that transformation and growing within it this is very these very very young energies and then this maturation it really is beautiful and i kind of love that when you put these cards together just like this yeah and you kind of hold them back a little bit it almost looks like this very youthful energy this inner child like you being a little bit nervous about what you're finding about like, about yourself in this process or just like going through the motions of life like restructuring reorganizing like reprioritizing people, places, things, right? Energies. It's like bumping in, right? It literally is this natural maturation. It looks like she's growing. She's bumping into her and her little van of just like hope and optimism is just like, I know I can, I know I can get better than here. Like I know I'm a little fish, but like I know I can swim. Bumps right into her and it just becomes part of the transformation. It really is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous, I'm sorry. I'm having real throat chakra issues this week. Mm. Mm. sorry excuse me i'm sorry libra next out you have the four of wands in reverse and then you have it followed up by the king of cups in reverse so this for me is when i was like okay so now libra is hitting a little bit of a wall a little bit and i'm thinking that i feel as though this is you kind of looking over a lot of what's happened to you, for you, involving you, around you, right? That it's like very much of that assessing energy and really looking at all the times that, you know, maybe it just didn't go in your favor. Shit doesn't go in our favor all the time, right? But God's rejection is also God's protection, right? These times where you weren't able to celebrate, you weren't able to be successful, right? You weren't able to have this four wands. Maybe it's really kind of assessing and realizing that all of these things right and knight of cups not for nothing if we're talking about just like a person a person energy knight of cups in reverse this is like a player energy but maybe all of the times that like you felt like you sold yourself out a little bit where you you invested energy of infrastructure into into sand castles or houses of cards you know what i mean really being able to see that everything is flying everywhere right? And that kept you from your real celebration, from your real stability, from real soul tribe, community, right? Interdependence with others, right? It kept you from being in control of your emotions, feeling maybe that you either had to have an overpouring of emotions or a total withholding, right? No, no happy medium. I know no trust in the process. No, no victory in that. You know, it's like all this work, six of pentacles. It's like this wheel, this menu, all this work and no reward. Like, what the fuck is that, Libra, right? But we're not doing that anymore, are we? No, because we're two of wands. You're elixir of life. You got all these girls or boy. It doesn't matter. This is all female energy. It's about receiving clarity, receiving messages, allowing yourself. And if you notice, all of them have like wind in their hair, guiding them. It's about spirit. It's about source, the universe, your higher self, your intuition, letting it guide you a little bit, right? Now you have those cards after the king cups you have the ace of pentacles out and then you have the page of cups right on its side so this is something that what you're doing is you're really like i said you're fixing the clockwork this is like a re you're you're, you're it's it's about your infrastructure this is a new beginning the way you see yourself the way you handle relationships the kind of work that you want to do the way you go about living your life right it's an ace of pentacles. This is a gift. It is an opportunity. I think you're realizing that, which is why it seems like you're going in and you're doing all of this kind of self-work and thinking about stuff right now, which is great. That's exactly what you need to be doing. And it, But it's interesting because it's like when I pulled this card like all the way back, right? It's just like a gold backdrop, hands, ace of pentacles. Cool. But it's like as you pull it back, 
for me, it almost looks like a body. Like it almost looks like a female form. And when she holds this eight of pen this ace of pentacles, it almost the roots that come out of it because it's a pentacles, tangible roots, right? It almost looks like it's like she has pulled it out of herself. And it's that yellow, it's that gold energy. That's your solar plexus. That has to do with like self-esteem, feelings of self-worth, um, like free will, willpower, right? It's like the sense that like either you're 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 trying to pull this out of you this this beginning this process like like the the fruits of your labor like almost like before they're ready and you're just like pulling them out or there could be like a real like call to really check in on like maybe like your ego or maybe feelings of pride or or self-esteem or self-worth like that might be coming up for you in this process i mean like there is a lot of red and we're all talking we're talking about like chakra energy but that could also be like a signifier of triggering or things that are upsetting you or bothering you that go back down to your your sense of worth and your sense of self-esteem right and with this page of cups in reverse it's very much of like not knowing now now that you're rearranging things like a little bit like everything's in motion like balls kind of in the air I don't know where it's gonna land like I don't know which side I want to be on like I don't know where I want to put these cups and I'm very drawn to it, how inquisitive he looks and the wind in his hair too so it's like the sense that you are trying to let yourself be guided by your higher self your intuition the universe you're trying to like absorb any of these like signals or synchronicities or symbolism or downloads that you're getting from your higher self um but almost like second guessing it right and I, you know i'm you're, you're a libra so you're an air sign but i just feel like there's um there's so much fire here and and there's a lot of there's a lot of air you have more air coming up, but there's not a lot of cups energy. It's like, for so much like self love, it's like a, there's, you're missing like a lot of love and emotion here, Libra, right? And you have this three of cups in reverse and then the magician. And it's almost like immediately after this page of cups in reverse, it's like, you're almost like afraid to manifest something for yourself or like not yet. Like you're afraid to make a, a wrong manifestation or, or, or do it wrong or put the energy into it and have it not come to fruition. It's like almost this like idea of like being scared to dream a little, like dream a little dream, right? It's, it's like a weird kind of feeling, but it's a sense of like, maybe whatever you had worked on before didn't work out for you when it like really felt like a, a ripping out for you. Like somebody, like, a, like, like somebody stole a beginning or you put so much into it that it was like you lost a piece of it when it, it didn't come to fruition. But I think that the, the, the message here is really to not stop manifesting because you're already doing so much great work on yourself. Like why stop now? Like, absolutely. You have this, I followed it by, um, the five of wands, right? And this is like a conflicting energy, right? This is like a very like communal, sometimes it can be like kind of like a conflict competition energy. It could be like, you're afraid to manifest because of things, like I said, that you have before haven't, they've just like call, caused you grief more or less in one way or another but this is also i'm getting the back of the clock energy it's almost i don't see these as five different people i see these as like five views like these five little different versions of you all your elements right just kind of like going inside of yourself like searching around and putting things back in place like okay that doesn't work and that used to work and it doesn't now and now i know i do that and like putting things back together it's like this little worker bee energy trying to put things in their place put things in their place followed up by this page of swords right you trying to stay above it my little air sign like it's that very studious energy i think i said i think i said it in the beginning it's like a very much of a there's like a studious energy like you're trying to figure it all out it's like trying to learn how to be a, a, a locksmith or a clocksmith or a carpenter and it's like you don't even know how to use a hammer but it's like you're doing it you're doing it you're trying to keep your balance right and i'm very drawn to the fact that i've never noticed this, that her legs are crossed while she's doing this it's almost like a very two of swords energy like very at a crossroads right? Like not, not wanting to, to make a decision <coughs> to continue, just keeping your balance right now, not really wanting to make a decision before you, you like get all the information that you need before one of these light bulbs goes off, right? And this is a page, like pages start projects, right? So it's almost like, like, like I said, like you feeling like you can't manifest, like you can't start something until you like figure it out till you figure out why everything else went wrong or figure out like where you want to put these little pieces of yourself back. But with this butterfly garden energy, 
and it's like you kind of like looking up it's like there's this transformation this huge transformation right on top of your big stupid head libra look at you and then here you are you're looking up at this little flower like why won't you bloom like looking up for answers like i don't understand like i watered it and it grew but it won't bloom and it's like what the f and it's almost like this ace of pentacles energy i'm getting it's almost like she plucked it out like you're trying to pluck it out too early it's not sunny enough yet it's not get like you're almost like trying to rush the process like and i get that because you're you're libras libras like balance like you don't like to feel out of sorts in any way shape or form you don't like to feel out of sorts you don't like to look out of sorts like everything's got to be in sorts for my libras but it's almost like you you have all this big beautiful transformation happening right on top of you right and you're like looking up here like why won't this other little flower bloom like i don't understand it's like sometimes you can't understand it all sometimes sometimes there you're never gonna get the answers that you want sometimes you're not gonna get the closure that you want sometimes the dots don't connect themselves for like a long, long time. All, all things in, in proper divine timing, as they say, right? But there's so much else happening for you. But it's like, you're, you're so worried about the tangible. You're worried about some potential conflict. There's a lot of like friction, just like doing stuff energy for you. And it's like, you're all in your head. And it's like, you're sitting here and there's like so much beauty, a whole fucking butterfly garden. Like what, what? Are you kidding me and you're still looking up here a little bit like but i don't understand and next up you have the ten of swords and it's like i'll never understand it's almost like trying to like give up the gig and it's like this is source saying like stop stop asking questions about that let's let's go back in let's focus on what we're actually here to do right now you will get your answers in your proper divine timing right it's like all of this like climbing and struggling oh my god i'm all in my head oh my god i'm staring up at this like one thing that's not blooming when there's everything else around me that's working out and it's like this ten of swords energy like all these birds it's like all this air energy it's like where's the heart libra where's the heart babe like you're doing all this work you're going and you're doing god's work you're doing the good work for yourself to really like go in and fix your shit and set yourself up on a, like a path that is not only like gonna be really stable and nourishing for you, but also really exciting and creative and like yummy in all of the best ways. And you're just like all in your head. It's like you're being too hard on yourself, keeping yourself from manifesting the stuff that you want, keeping yourself from having the celebration that you want. You're getting in your own way. You're doing the you're doing the work, but it's like that almost back to the sea witch energy. You need to bring a little a little fun back into it, a little love. Put a little love in your heart. Like, you can't leave it out. You know, you got a cup on its side. You got a cup upside down. You got a cup upside down. Like, you gotta fill up a cup, Libra. Damn, you're gonna go so thirsty. Fill up your own cup. Fill up your own cup and take a sip. Take a break. Have a drink. Like, you're all in your head. You're all in your head. Next up, followed up by the King of Pentacles in reverse. And that is what all of this has done for you. It's not that you're not doing a good job it's not that you're not working hard it's not that you're not doing everything you're supposed to do but the way you're coming at it which is normal for you you're an air sign to go at it like just straight head on right but it's almost like look at this girl like she's looking down in her book studying trying to figure it out she's looking up at the sky like woe is me she's looking out into like the distance it's like you gotta look straight on libra not up not down not side to side straight on because it's driving you crazy that's what's making you feel like you don't have stability. That's what's making you feel like you're not in control of your situation, right? And so what is the advice for, from spirit for us? You gotta come into your queen of pentacles energy, right? Look at her. She's not stressed. She's too blessed to be stressed. Look at her. It's, she's like nourished, right? She's calm, she's soothed, right? Just because she's, she's a queen, just because she's a pentacle energy, doesn't mean that she ain't a queen. She's got everything that the other queens have as well. She rocks the pinnacle energy the hardest, but she has all of the energies of the queen. Look how nurturing she is. Look how calm she is, right? Have you been on Twitter or Instagram? You see that lady, Tabitha? Mind your business. It's your business. Tabitha? She's like, oh, I love you. I love Tabitha. It's like Tabitha, just like nourished, happy, at peace with oneself in the process, letting things grow organically from her look at this pentacle that she has in her hand right what is that that's the ace of pentacles that her ass started out with in the beginning but i want you to notice something because i noticed it and i never have before 
see this pentacle see how it's so yellow it's so gold it's that like solar chakra self-esteem self-worth all that stuff right look how orange her pentacle is right it goes back down into that sacral right it's meshed in with all of this like these these amber rusty tones from the base right it's like as time goes on this beginning of your process to the end of your process your pentacle becomes enriched it gets concentrated with like the quality of your experiences the quality of your interpersonal exchanges right it it creates a, a, a richness to it a potency a concentration that allows for this this relief right come into that allow yourself to be nourished and then closing out i love it you have this observer energy right and for me this is obviously you being your little your little student self getting all in your head and all in your books looking around trying to assess everything that you can but just like this queen of pentacles energy actually the cards are laid out like this just like this queen of is it how does it go yeah it goes like this this is like the queen of pentacles energy this one it doesn't it doesn't matter lauren it doesn't matter <laughs> right they're both sitting it's like all throughout here you're climbing you're you're um like waiting at the windows you're walking on the wires you're up at this elevated height sit down sit still it's like sort of saying i know you're going to assess i know you're going to do your homework that's fine take it all in it's cool i know you're going to observe but then let these little things that you observe, whatever doesn't serve you, whatever doesn't suit you, let them just fly. Like little like little uh, dandelions, just right out of your head. Let these thoughts come in, observe what you see, and let it go right out of your head. And the best way to come into the state of, of relaxation and kind of being a little bit more at peace and like a little bit more nurturing and a little bit more of like this receiving, there's all this like feminine energy here, but it's like, I feel like you're having a hard time receiving it right now for some reason. To really bring it in is to remember how things are making you feel. Look at this red again, right? That base, that stability. You observe something, you see something, you absorb it. Think about how it makes you feel. Think about how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel like this queen of pentacles? If it doesn't, let it blow right out the back of your head, right? That's how you can tell whether it's a thought that you should be keeping in your head and really just keep shaking it around like a magic eight ball trying to analyze or whether you should just let it fly out. Think immediately how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel more stable? Does it make you feel more healthy, right? If it doesn't, let it blow away. Aye, aye. I just, oh, ooh. At, just so we're clear, at the bottom of your light tier zero deck, you had the eight of swords, right? All wrapped up in your feelings, your shit, all wrapped up in your head. And at the bottom of your oracle um, moments deck, liberty. Liberty, my Libras. Mwah. I love you. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for letting me do this for you. All of my information is in the description box. If you want to chat, you can leave a comment. And you can subscribe or come back or I'll see you around, you know? It's been cool, Libra. Thanks. Bye-bye.